Monday, 23rd of October, 2023. Welcome to Evening Prayer. This Monday, in proper 24.
Stay with us, Lord, for evening draws on and the day is almost over. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whom grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whom rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O oh, gracious life, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises. O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Amen. Lord, we pray to you for forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, in your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm is taken from 122 and 125. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For they are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls. 
the quietness within your towers. For my bedroom and companion's sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek to do your good. Psalm 125 Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but stands fast forever. The hills stand above Jerusalem, so does the Lord stand wrong about his people. From this time forth forevermore. The scepters of the wicked shall not hold sway over the land allotted to the just, so that the just shall not put their hands to evil. Shall your goodness show your goodness, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are true of heart. As for those who turn aside to crook away, the Lord will lead them away with the evil doors, but peace be upon Israel. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be. Amen. The first reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17 to 25. For I am about to create new heavens, and now the earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy, and its people as a delight. I rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it, or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days, or an old person who does not live out of lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth and one who falls short of a hundred years will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build, they shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of the tree shall be days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity, for they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, the lion shall eat straws like the ox, but the serpent is fool shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The Magnificent My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with flavor on your lonely servant. From this day, all generation will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation, you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, forever. Amen. The second reading is taken from Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 12 to 24. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that with, so, so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. Bestow peace with everyone, and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and through it many become defiled. See to it that no one becomes like Ezra, an immoral and godless person, who sold his birthright for a single meal. You know that later, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent, even though he saw the blessings with him. You have not come to something that can be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempness and a sound of the triumph and a voice whom words made the hears beg that not another word be spoken to them for they, they could not endure the order that was given if even an animal touches the mountain it shall be stoned to death indeed so terrifying was the sight of Moses said I tremble with fear, but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God and heavenly Jerusalem and to innumerable angels in festal garden and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven and to God the judgment of all and to spirits of the righteous made perfect and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sparkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffrage Lord, reveal your love among us that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servant with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your, that your justice may be, among, be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us. 
that in us and through us your will may be done. Amen. Proper 24 Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy that your church throughout the world may preserve with steadfast faith in the confession of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Grant to your servants, O God, to be set on fire with your love to be strengthened by your power, to be illuminated by your spirit, to be filled with your grace, and to move on with your help. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gifts of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.